The commander looked up from his meal to find a Florexian staring at him. Hello, can I help you? As a new species on the galactic stage, Terrans were still quite the curiosity. And as a transferee from one military post to another, travelling on a civilian star transport, he was somewhat of an informal ambassador, so to speak. He was starting to get used to giving small lectures on the subject of Earth and its inhabitants. It was acceptable payment for the upgrades in the usual accommodations. Excuse the interruption, Commandier. My offspring and I were wondering if you could troubled not be to answer a question. I can return after your nourishment if it is an ecom beverance. Uh, no trouble at all. I was just about finished with my food. How can I be of help? It is appreciation and gratitude. I am Flexus. May I introduce my mate and offspring? The commander straightened. This Flexium was no ordinary curious traveller. They were, in fact, supreme ruler of their world. Certainly, I'd be honoured. A smaller Flexian approached. They leaned slightly forward to reveal a pouch. Two smaller sets of eyes stared back at the commander. Flexus leaned over and small whispers could be heard coming from the pouch. My second pouchling would like to know about Pete's. Pete's? I'm sorry, but I don't... I am apologies. I refer to your companion Animal. It is said you travel with one of these... Weasel? Ah, yes, you mean pets. Well, Charlie, that's the name of my animal, is a bit more than a pet. He is a service animal. That is a companion animal who helps somebody out. We Terrans have over 45,000 years, that's 25,000 gal years, of history with our pets. We've been together so long that some members of the council wish to classify us as a symbiotic species. I see, I have heard such talkings. Do you share a mind? Some might say we do, but no, we've just learned to almost instinctively read the reactions of one another. Would you like to meet Charlie? I'm headed back to my cabin, and I'd be honoured to introduce you. He loves children. Phylexus leaned over again. Excited whispers and squeals could be heard coming from the pouch. She straightened up and said something to her wife. He nodded yes. We will be delighted to meet Charlie the Savrice Pit. Great, follow me. The commander arose and began to walk. Phylexus hopped beside him. Her wife followed. I am curiosity. Why did your people not uplift your pets? It is common amongst species to raise life forms up who have a history of usefulness to them. It's complicated. It's not for lack of trying. Unfortunately, research showed that a widespread illness from earlier on in the species' history at some point had mutated and affected their brains. Do not worry. It cannot be spread to other species. Unfortunately, they can never have intelligence beyond that of an equivalent second or possibly third year old offspring of my species. Felix's wife spoke in his language. Felix has asks if they can be dangerous. Uh, no, not really. Though in ancient history our pets were capable of doing great harm to us, that is in the distant past. In the intervening time we've managed to breathe that out. We're here at my cabin. Let me open up and tell Charlie to behave. He can get rambunctious after I've been gone for a while. Felixus and his family stood back while the commander opened the door part way. Charlie, greet. The commander entered. Please, come in. It's fine, let him investigate you. Charlie approached Felixus, sniffing curiously. His bright eyes shined as he gently greeted the strangers. If they were dangerous, why did you not eliminate them? Charlie moved over to fellow Axi. He sniffed, then leaped back and started to bounce excitedly when two little heads popped up out of the pouch, accompanied by excited squeals. We feel a sense of responsibility. With as much history as exists between us, they are part of what made us what we are today. My offspring want to know if they can touch Charlie. Certainly. Uh, Charlie, pets, gentle. Charlie leaned forward. Four little hands reached out and stroked the soft fur on top of his head. More excited squeals were heard. My offspring would like to know if they can have Charlie. I'm apologies. The young can be unreasoned. No offence meant. The commander laughed. No offence taken. He approached Charlie, who was bouncing excitedly, and addressed the two squeaking offspring. His tail was wagging. He leaned over, gave Charlie two licks in his face, and touched the top of his head with his paw, then turned to the two little pouchlings. Tell you what, I'll see what I can do to get you a pet human of your own.